Hey guys, happy splasher here. Good evening. It is 7-3-2021. Right now we're going to be continuing with journey, so let's get right into it. Uh, right now we are on, let's see, we're at number 32 of 40. So nine more, because it includes this one as well. So we will see what the boss is. Check out their skills. All right, so the first skill they have is whenever a unit on our side has less than half of its health, it will be destroyed. And the second skill here is end of turn, give negative attack to all of our units. I don't know if this is temporary or permanent. We'll find out soon enough. All right, so we will start with our lead deck by default, which we'll show later on, and then we'll take it from there. A couple of units, see what they have. So attack boost, have negative, oh, sorry. Sorry, uh, reducing attack to one. It's attack boost and counterattack. Has silence plus health. Uh, we have multiple summons over here with poison damage for 130. And then we have a unit that gives extra attack wounds with extra damage to chaos units. All right, let's get into it. This doesn't help us at all. Ugh. Whatever is the worst possible unit they can summon against you, we'll do it. So, sorry. I guess we'll space those out to keep those alive next time.
Why did I think of this before? <laughs> it's such a crazy deck. All right. Can't believe it. All right, cool. We got another one done. <sighs> Hey, new rank. Even better. Right, we'll do a breakdown of this particular deck because uh, it does deserve some notation. So the first thing is first. We'll take a look at the Warlord. All right, so we use this uh, Geisha. I'm going to line as Orion the Red Moon. The reason why is because they have the summon here over here. That summon allows us to get put an extra blocker on the field. It combos with our Terra from below because it has Mirror Poison, and so it will give an extra health boost to our units. Also, that vamp, the uh, one of these, the arch vampire, it deals damage at the end of the turn to units that also combos with this unit. That will set the health to five range units at the end of the turn. Also, and this frost unit will, whenever an order unit comes into play, it will set the frozen, it will set a unit to be frozen, and then it will freeze it in turn to health to one, and then we'll be able to destroy units. So, as we already mentioned here, we get a little bit of health as well. So that gives a little bit of bonus to us. We use the Aphrodite because we were noticing that we were gaining a lot of health really early on. So this unit deals damage based uh, of the health of one of our units. So that's why we're able to eventually beat them in about seven or eight turns. There's a little bit of heal, a little bit of pentagram, so that's good. We use this unit here because of the giving miss to another unit and then the attack boost. Also get some health as well, so that'll combo with the Aphrodite for the extra damage. We use the Yoster here because it silences the male enemies, the male enemies being the Triton. That was the one that uh, when you attack it, it silences the units. Also silences the Floss. That was the big plant unit that summons the other plants. And was there one other thing? Yeah, that, that. No, it was pretty much those two. Uh, at the end of the turn, it gives health for every female on our side of the field. So it counts the Yoster, and then it also counts all of these females, except for these two units here. That's why I use that. Also deals damage at the beginning of the turn for each unit that we have, so that will deal extra damage to their units, and then also allow us to set up for the board wipe using the warlord skill here. Right, we use this unit here because it's order, so it combos with the frost, and it also gives us mental shield and then gives pierce, so for extra damage. We use this unit, uh, not too much. Uh, it does give an attack boost whenever it attacks, but the key thing is it gives order uh, allies silence. So that Triton that gave silence, if we summon this before the Triton, or I guess even after the Triton, it will keep our units uh, unable to be silenced. So that way they can still use their skills. Uh, finally, we have the Terra from below, freezes their non-chaos and non-buildings. So that was the Floss, the was it the Matriarch Yona? That's the one with the uh, the dragon that does the splash damage. And it also stops the Dragara. That's the one that has the large attack boost in the beginning. And then finally we have this one as well. We have the extra shards whenever it attacks. So we'll do an extra blocker. We'll give that this unit here Divine Shield. And then a lot of counterattack, a lot of extra damage. So it helps out there. So yeah. That was pretty much it. We'll take a look at the next boss over here. Kind of interesting to see. Slippery Esh. All right. So whenever it's attacked, we'll give two of our units miss for a turn. And then whenever an enemy attack, enemy being, being our units, it will deal 100 damage to other units around it. OK, sure. Take a look at their units here. So a lot of plus health and regeneration, attack boost have extra steel from attacks, a stealing attack, and then also extra attack over here. As invulnerability, a lot of attack steel, and we have a reflect damage here, a big block, and then we have silence over here. So we might actually end up using our same deck, the one that we're using now, just to get around their stuff, particularly because they have mail units and they're all not in chaos, so that'll help us out there. So yeah, we'll uh, check back in soon. I'm going to take a quick break, and then we'll go back to on some more of this journey. Otherwise, uh, thanks guys for tuning in. If there are any questions, comments, feedback, or concern, leave a message on Twitch, Discord, or YouTube. The streaming schedule and content schedule is right up there. Uh, if you, uh, yeah, uh, please follow on Twitch for the live stream, and then like and subscribe on YouTube for more videos. We have all the other stuff like Dark Tower, Pit, World events, etc., etc. So check it out. 
Otherwise, this is Happy Splasher, signing off.